When you take a calf away from its mum, what is that process like? Cut. <laughs> To get some honesty, I had to find farmers to talk with instead. I was surprised with what I found out about life on the farm. The family's been farming here for 95 odd years, and we've always dairy farmed here. I was born here, and uh, now I'll probably die here. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Not too soon. <laughs> we work seven days a week. We're up at 3.34 in the morning, home by 6 o'clock maybe at night. Worse in the spring, lucky if you get a bit of breakfast in the morning some days, you know, it's full on. And uh, with all the other, you know, everything coming at you from all sides, uh, the, the motivation to be continuing to dairy farm is gone. Now, if people aren't appreciative of uh, what you're doing, then that motivation disappears pretty quick. And then you don't see a vat full of milk to feed people, you see a vat full of money. Now talk about sustainability, no one considers the sustainability to the farmers, the sustainability of human um, uh, life. Because the farmer, it's not sustainable if farmers are all hanging themselves left, right and centre. Or, or sort of um, letting their farm go to wreck and ruin because they just, just have lost the plot and don't care anymore. And that's happening. It's a reality. I know it's happening. And that's got to be a crucial part of sustainability. And that's why I feel if dairying is getting too much for people, then perhaps dairying is not the game you should be in. Another farmer was willing to talk about his experience with the bacterial disease Mycoplasma bovis. The Ministry for Primary Industries is attempting to eradicate it at any cost. If MPI finds one, one of your animals uh, with the disease of Mycoplasma bovis, they kill everything, everything. I've had 34 years in this industry and uh, I go during the middle of the night to check on my cows to make sure the birth process is going all right. And if the calf is not well, you get it inside and uh, nurture it. And then all of a sudden, you're being told you have to kill these calves. And um, oh, that I think was particularly afterwards, uh, it was very traumatizing. And, oh, I'm still not over it, actually. So how many days did this take you killing the calves? Probably 80, 90 days. How many calves do you think you were killing per day? Some days it might be one, and some days it might be six, seven. Uh, we had another farm as well, affected with mycoplasma both, and the farm manager there, he had to kill the calves on the farm there, and he was calving more cows than I was. Couldn't hack it anymore in the end, and uh, he tried to commit suicide. And my son, uh, my son found them and got them out, and now he's left New Zealand. He's gone. 23 year old fucked his life with this. Just because there's pain and suffering built into a system doesn't mean that the system's bad or wrong or evil. So I am not afraid as a agricultural storyteller of talking about things like institutionalized animal cruelty because it makes it real. Um, and you know, it, I'm going with this. No, I think I'll leave it there. <laughs>